Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Warmly welcome to you for another topic, for another informative training session. The topic is never give up. And today, definitely I'll share some of the reasons why we should never give up. And uh, before we start the session, uh, you know, you can look at the screen, a uh, few important words, the kind of golden words that dream big, set goals and work hard. This is the only way to be successful, you know, but nowadays we also s start saying, you know, instead of work, working hard, much better is to uh, have some smart working strategies, you know, so whatsoever innovative, creative ways you have to make your work easier, mm, nothing is bad into it, you know, so uh, I'm Ishtia Kirana, the CEO of uh, Best International, so we are a training company, we do audits, we provide consulting services and also inspection and recruitment services globally, you know. So uh, feel free to contact, there is a WhatsApp contact number, so anytime you can reach me up. This is your daily learning club, the training zone, so you can subscribe if you believe it is beneficial for you or uh, can give benefits to your network, it's up to you if you want to subscribe. I'm not enforcing and I can't enforce by the way. But if you believe this channel, your training channel, the training zone is beneficial, then uh, I would request please uh, share with everyone uh, within your network and uh, let them get the maximum benefit uh, through this channel, you know. And uh, why this uh, topic is chosen? Because uh, I noted uh, several of my you know even friends sometimes they start the idea they start their business and uh, later on they just close it out maybe because of some hurdles maybe you know or some unforeseen reason sometime but still uh, they never give up strategy why sh we should not uh, and never ever you know uh, we should go for it actually and i'll start with basically the concept of two st stories and uh, someone you know guided me through this but that's why i'm sharing with all of you and we all know the yahoo uh, the biggest uh, you know the email network so uh, the best platform for communication for emails and all that you know they refused actually yahoo refused google and also nokia refused android and now we all know where is google and where is Android? What are the, what is the success level of Google or Android? And uh, what model or, um, you know, the biggest room in the world is the room for further improvement. But the best way of learning is learn by the mistakes of yourself or the mistakes done by others, you know. So we can learn a lot. Same way, Yahoo have done a terrible mistake because Google was interested to buy them, but they refused. Same way Android, they were interested to buy Nokia, but again they refused, you know. So, the moral is, update yourself with time, else you will become absolute. You know, I always say it was really hard to go on for online trainings because we are addicted for face-to-face -face classroom based training, you know. But luckily, we have YouTube platform, we have plenty of uh, uh, you know channels like uh, uh, zoom is there the google meet and plenty of other platforms for uh, managing our training projects online so it's a blessing but what i mean is if we don't upgrade if we don't uh, learn all these things how uh, how it would be possible even uh, right now to talk to all of you right so update yourself with time else you will become absolute this is moral lesson number one and also taking no risk is the biggest risk. I repeat again, this is my personal, you know, kind of uh, strategy always in the business that taking no risk is the biggest risk and take risk and adopt new technologies. Take risk and adopt new technologies. So be adaptable for new changes instead of uh, hiding from the upcoming changes or like abrupt technological uh, changes are coming in the world and the world is changing drastically you know 
even the technology is booming up but on the other side we are unable to upgrade ourselves right uh, with that speed uh, most importantly but definitely everyone is trying to grab some new skills and uh, trying hard to you know uh, manage uh, uh, even though the moc the management of change is uh, not easy at all but still uh, your commitment your determination and your vision for future your forward thinking of course will help you to move on with better plans you know and upgrade yourself and we are learning this lesson from these two stories and other two st stories i would love to share with all of you is in the later time because uh, there is some uh, sound behind <laughs> just the first time i uh, that's another thing i learned you know how how things we can uh, uh, bring in, bring something or incorporate something new uh, within our presentation, you know. So I created this, uh, uh, we call it in Punjab, in Pakistan, the dhol, you know, the sound of dhol actually, but on the other side, the drums. Now, two more stories, Google acquired YouTube and Android. Now, Google, again, the forward thinker, you know. So they know the YouTube and Android is going to uh, dominate the market so why not uh, instead of uh, making them stronger why can't we buy them you know and this is the right time to buy them so instead of uh, making them your strong competitor you purchase them and uh, you make yourself bigger and avoid competition right same way the Facebook the very clever gentleman he acquired Instagram and WhatsApp and LinkedIn also the professional platform and because he knows uh, people how long they're going to be addicted only on uh, social segments or because uh, everything is business you know people are looking for some help online to boost up their business or have some chit chat of course socially as well but very strong forward thinking and they took a risk and uh, purchased instagram and whatsapp and linkedin and so what moral lesson we all can get out of it you know become so powerful that your enemies become your allies and also grow fast become big and then eliminate your competition <laughs> even though uh, everyone is hard to go on the same way but at least we can try we all especially the business community people you know they they have to be strong decision maker and especially the on-time decisions are very much important you know there was a time to be very honest when i thought uh, why don't I sell my best international to someone willingly, you know, because of course uh, it's required uh, a lot of uh, hard work and plenty of uh, uh, budgetary uh, efforts to promote my products and uh, working globally or especially in Saudi Arabia. But uh, to be very honest, then I took an initiative. Why can't I make the same thing by myself instead of uh, uh, having someone else or selling my company why can't I do it by myself because what I learned in a life is uh, never give up so uh, I hope you also have a lot of never give up stories and if you have feel free to share in the comment box or maybe you can create a YouTube video or uh, on social platform maybe at Facebook it's up to you if you want to share your stories but uh, to be very honest sharing is caring if you are sharing your failure stories or your success stories it helps it helps a lot to the uh, a lot of people globally i would say and uh, that is the purpose uh, i try my level best to record videos in english actually because it can reach up to maximum uh, audience you know globally because international language english is an international language even though we love our national language Urdu and I love to speak Punjabi as well because I'm living in Punjab, Pakistan but still uh, since there are international norms to follow some business principles so one of the basic principles is uh, you have to use maximum English you know so now two more stories uh, for your motivation Barack Obama you know he uh, the ex-president we all know before uh, Donald Trump uh, now we have Joe Biden and Barack Obama was an ice cream seller guys you know he was an ice cream seller yes you have 
read it right. He used to scoop ice cream in 1978 at Baskin Robbins. As another excellent, I would say, the uh, ice cream brand. Uh, luckily, I've been serving to Baskin Robbins. You know, he was our customer, by the way, and we were supplying some products to them. But uh, no, another shot is Elon Musk. And I hope you all know this unique uh, gentleman in the world. And uh, you know what he was? Worker in a limber mill. And what is the moral is? Don't judge people based on their past jobs. I repeat again, don't judge anyone. Don't judge people based on their past jobs, you know. Because you never know. Who is going to change the future with the blessings of dear Allah and today the person you are believing is very much unsuccessful and not like he's nothing maybe he could be everything in future you know so and never judge anyone from his cover like a book you know no you present your present doesn't decide your future your courage and hard work does so you have to be self encouraged you have to be passionate and make sure you work hard as well let me share two more stories maybe it would also give you some energy so i why would be able to convince you that why i'm telling never give up two more stories there are like Connell and you know this uh, sanders created kfc at the age of uh, 65 Sorry, this two is mistakenly typed there. I couldn't delete it. But Jack Ma, who was rejected by KFC and Howard, later founded Alibaba. And you know, Alibaba, we all know, you know, B2B business, especially very much reputed in Pakistan and Middle East, even globally, you know, so earning a lot of money. Jack Ma, you can search Jack Ma, some golden words. And if you really want to learn business, no harm to learn from Jack Ma. But the moral is, age is just a number. You can be successful at any age. Sometimes, you know, I, I found several people, they always say, Oh, I'm going to die. My life is only for 60 years or 70 years. The average life may be 50 years. So why should I uh, live a life, you know, <laughs> and to be successful here and there? But to be very honest, uh, be successful for others. Maybe you are going to be a, a very flourished tree who is going to give some fruits or uh, some others, you know. So be helpful, be uh, very much beneficial for others, for humanity. So uh, don't, don't, don't just uh, discourage yourself or uh, I would say don't run away from uh, success actually if you if you can be successful globally and uh, you can earn a lot and help the community please do it do it for others if you believe it's not important for you then think about your family members think about your uh, relatives your nearby neighbor community your city or uh, your country you know and even all countries of the world there are people who truly need your help if you are very much rich and successful businessmen so please be more successful just for the help of others even so serving humanity is one of the best job in the world so from these two stories what we have learned i repeat again age is just a number you can be successful at any age and again the message is same never ever give up in life only those who never give up win only those who never give up win and uh, uh, maybe I can here connect some uh, compound effect strategies your daily small small steps your daily small small level of smart or hard work ultimately create a big volume of success you know the magnitude which you can't even sometimes imagine to be very honest but keep going on and uh, make sure you are uh, uh, achieving your goals by following your daily steps uh, 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 indeed we required a concrete business plan which we truly need to follow like a direction 
and we have strong best stories you know the practical stories not the fake one the genuine one so no harm to learn you so guys uh, maybe two more story let me see if i have added that one also yes the final two stories the owner of ferrari you know he insulted unfortunately a tractor maker and on that tractor maker created lamborghini so what lessons we can learn from these two stories never underestimate or disrespect anyone i repeat again never underestimate or disrespect anyone might be today you have an office boy or janitor in your office but tomorrow he could be the successful businessman you never know you never know who is going to be what in future you know people they have uh, some unique plans but they don't share might be they are planning excellent based on excellent business ideas but they don't share and working as a tea boy or as a janitor or as a cleric of your office or might be as an electrician or might be as a assistant manager but probably on the other side they are preparing a huge mega business plan and might be started already also and in future you will be shocked to see them how much they are successful but don't be shocked better to appreciate them because this is how life must go on actually everybody have same uh, you know uh, level of uh, or the right of success actually we can't stop anyone if you can be successful anyone can be successful right like you even so success is the best revenge success is the best revenge and the last message from my side is always be motivated always motivate people if you can't motivate please don't demotivate don't ever say to anyone you can't you can't do it or you don't deserve it or that's not possible for you how come you can do it don't waste your time by doing this this never discourage anyone if they are taking positive steps in their life yes if they are doing something wrong or something negative or terribly harmful for humanity then i would definitely suggest you know try to convince him not to do these kind of negative things you know but if he's doing something productive something positive trying to be successful for himself for his family for community you know for his relatives even because you never know the person who is successful is going to be support supportive for several families like one company if they have 5000 employees they are not 5000 employees they have 5000 families that means a huge community and if that businessman someone is going to demotivate him and you know creating some troubles for his business you are not troubling that gentleman you are troubling 5000 families guys yes fair positive competition is a good thing but avoid negative competition b yes you are authorized to make some monopoly of your products but give some space to others as well and the ultimate message is sharing is sharing and caring is the best strategy so be kind the last two words from my side please try to be kind always please be kind please be kind and be helpful be helpful for others you goodbye and please uh, share uh, the story with uh, within your network and uh, the last uh, slide a few more words that you can be successful at any age and from any background dream big set goals and work hard and never give up in life go ahead thank you very much guys i hope uh, you like this video if it is beneficial 
please share with others if you believe it is giving some motivation to you then please share with others i'm sure if you are getting some motivation anyone else can get the same i can't convey that message to everyone you know in the world we have how much like you know people in the world 700 crores right so please share this important message never give up